Uh, we're doing another haul. We're doing another haul video. Wow, two hauls in almost two weeks. All right, all right. Uh, I got a lot of books from my store, and then I got an eBay purchase. So we're gonna dive all into that. Um, I'm just so hyped up. I couldn't wait any longer to film this video. Uh, I just watched the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer for the 20th time. Okay, 20th time. Every time I watch it, I get the same chills, the same goosebumps. So, I'm running off of, of adrenaline right now. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, I love that trailer. Uh, I think it's the best official teaser trailer I've ever seen. So. Go watch it if you haven't, which, if you haven't watched it, what the hell are you doing? But alright, uh, we're going to get into these books. Uh, <clears throat> we're starting out with a book that uh, you guys should definitely be on the lookout for. Uh, this is Giant uh, Justice League of America. Uh, this is number 141. Uh, new stand, okay. Get the little new stand right down there. But... Uh, this is the origin and the first appearance of the Manhunters. Uh, now, for anybody who doesn't know who the Manhunters are, uh, the Guardians made them in the Green Lantern world, you know, the Green Lantern universe, where they made uh, these Manhunters to protect and serve uh, the Guardians. And then they went rogue. They They wanted to destroy all of life or something like that. So uh, this is the first appearance of them uh, now I've heard a rumor okay I've heard a rumor that they're going to be a part of the HBO Max Green Lantern series that they're making uh, so that's just a rumor take it with a grain of salt uh, but get this book anyway just because it's a great book to have um, very cool book now this book is probably hidden like like 20 bucks to 30 on eBay right now, but you could probably find it in your dollar bin or something like that. I found this for four bucks, so four dollars. Hey, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, next we got another Justice League book. Uh, this is Justice League of America number 137. Uh, this is the uh, the classic battle between Superman and Shazam. Okay. Another great book I found for cheap, uh, $6. found this book for $6. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. Uh, I'm surprised that these books were still there, honestly. But again, you know, got another newsstand copy. Okay, all right. But uh, yeah, great book to uh, have. Love the cover on it. Great book. Um, I don't know what that book is going for on eBay. Probably around the same you know 20 to 30 maybe but eh, found it for six bucks so i was like all right uh now this is a book i'm actually really happy to find uh this is teen titans number 48 uh this is the first appearance of bumblebee but more importantly this is the uh i forget her name uh it's like darlene Dent or something. I, I I don't know. I don't know. She refers to herself as Harley Quinn. So I'm like, okay. Alright. Uh, I'll get it. Uh, I see this book everywhere at conventions and they're wanting an arm and a leg for it. But uh, I found this for like I think it was like $10, $12. So I was like, yes. Get that book. Get that book. Okay. Uh, next we got a third print here. Got a third print. Uh, this is The Amazing Spider-Man number 529. Uh, this is the uh, first appearance of the spider armor. Uh, so, eh, whatever. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for it, and I'm happy with it. Um, I think at my store, they had this marked at 20. Then they went down to 15, and then they just marked it down to 10 bucks. So I was like, all right, 10 bucks I'll do. I'll, I'll do that for 10 bucks. Ain't no big deal. So, all right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with a let's go with a variant here. Let's go with a variant. All right. Uh, look at that. That's a beautiful cover. 
Uh, this is A Force number one. Uh, I think this is the one in 50 or the one in 25. I I'm pretty sure it's the one in 50, but I might be totally wrong on that. Uh, George Molina, I think, who, who did this cover. So, uh, I, I definitely dig the cover. I mean, look at that. You got, you got Phoenix on the cover, Spider Woman, Spider Gwen, Captain Marvel, She Hulk, Lady Loki, and those two characters, or three characters in there. I don't know who they are. I don't know. But, uh, it's a great cover. It's a great cover. And I, and I don't know who, uh, that character is. But, I thought it was a pretty cool cover, um, and I want the the other variant where it just shows her face, this character's face on the cover. So I'm still looking for that one, but this one is a great cover. Uh, I paid thirty five for it. I paid thirty five dollars for this variant. I'm happy with it. Um, it goes for about forty to fifty on average. So sometimes it may go a little bit higher than that, but uh, excuse me, but the what this book goes for is like 40 to 50, you know, almost all the time. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. Okay. Uh, we got, oh, we got another Justice League book. Uh, this is Justice League of America Annual number two. Uh, now this is the, uh, the first appearance of Vibe and Gypsy. First appearance of Vibe and Gypsy. And it's the first appearance of another, uh, character, or not a character, but a team, I think it's like Detroit Justice League or something like that, uh, if I'm wrong, uh, I apologize, but the main reason why I bought this book was for the, uh, was the first appearance of Vibe and Gypsy, so, uh, I think I paid like 15 for it, yeah, paid 15 bucks for it, not a big deal, a book that, uh, I just happened to stumble across, so I was like, okay. All right, we'll uh, we'll get it, we'll get it. All right, we got some we got some Green Lantern action here. Uh, this is Green Lantern number forty nine. Uh, this is the. I don't think there's anything significant with it. No, I I just bought it just because of the cover. I think that's a cool cover, um, and yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I wish I found number 48, but oh well. I got 49. Whatever. Uh, I, I definitely dig this cover. Definitely dig this cover. I feel like this book should go for a little bit more than what it goes for, but eh. Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool to have. Alright. Now this next book. This next book right here. Alright. This is a book that I have been searching for for dang near five years and I finally decided to pull the trigger on it on eBay this is the eBay purchase that I got look at that look at that uh, this is Green Lantern number 55 uh, this is the 1 in 25 variant this is the Lobo variant uh, this is such a a tough variant to find I could never find it anywhere and I decided, you know what, let's go on eBay, let's get the book. Uh, I definitely paid for it. <laughs> I definitely paid for this book, but I'm happy with it, man. I'm super happy to have it. Such a great uh, variant, a cool-ass Lobo cover. And I saw this I saw this book in a Mercenaut video like five years ago. And... This book has always been on my mind when I go to conventions to see if it's a, a booth or a dealer has it. They never do. And I finally pulled the trigger on it on eBay. So, yeah. Wow. Just, just stare at it. I'm just going to stare at it for a couple minutes. And, and what's funny, too, is the eBay seller uh, that sold me this book... He actually lives like 20 minutes from me, and I thought that was really weird. And when it and it occurred to me when the original bag and board that it was in, it had some writing on the back that I noticed it's very similar to one of my stores. And I looked at the price sticker on it, 
and it was $4.99. I'm like, wow, I wish I would have found this book for $4.99. <laughs> but I didn't pay $4.99 for it, so I'm just going to keep that price close to my chest. Because it is... <laughs> It's a good price. It, 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 I don't care how much I pay for it, really. I just love I just love the cover. Love to have it, and it's a pretty hard book to find. So, pretty glad to have this book, man. Definitely glad. But we got to move on here. Uh, found this for three bucks at the same uh, at the same store where I bought the rest of these books from. Uh, Superman, the Man of Steel, number nineteen. Uh, this is just a doomsday cameo cover whatever uh picked it up for three dollars so whatever all right and then we got these variants that i had no idea existed and i picked up all th uh th well three of them picked up three variants this is superior spider-man uh number one variant uh i do not know what ratio this is I think this is a 1 in 25, uh, and, uh, so, whatever, picked it up, oh, now, this is my favorite cover out of, uh, all three of them, look at that, that's cool, right, that's cool, right, uh, Superior Spider-Man number two variant, I, again, I think it's a 1 in 25 variant, uh, uh, comment if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is, but I definitely dig that cover. That's a dope cover. And then, uh, number four. Okay. Superior Spider-Man. Number four variant. Okay. All right. Dope cover. Again, dope cover. And I paid $15 uh, each for these, uh, for these three variants. So, I'm like, okay. All right. All right, I'll get him. I'll get him. And I think all of them are really dope, so that's why I picked it up. And then the last book I got uh, for for cover price, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality, number three. Uh, this is a... I forget what ratio it is, but uh, this is a homage to Amazing Spider-Man 122, so whatever. Whatever. Yeah, but that's it. But those are those are all the books I got for you guys. Um, but all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, oh, just look at that book. Mm, mm, mm. Love this book to death. But anyway, guys, that does it for this video. This is Comic Collector One Hundred and One, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.